Triangle ABC is shown in the figure below. The measure of angle A is 40 degrees, AB is 18 centimeters, and AC is 12 centimeters. Which of the following is the length in centimeters of side BC? Note, for a triangle with sides of length A, B, and C, opposite angles, angle A, angle B, and angle C respectively, the law of sine states this, and the law of cosine states this. So what I'd like to do, because a note was given, and usually if a note's given, we're going to use it, is I want to make sure my triangle is, is um, formatted properly with respect to the information provided to me. So I know I have my angles, my angle C, my angle B, my angle A, so that's good. But this first sentence in the note tells me that the sides are also labeled with the same letters, just um, lowercase, and they're opposite. So angle A would mean that this is side A. Angle B would mean this is equal to side B. Then angle C would mean the opposite side is side C, little c. So then I only have two options here. I can either use the law of sines or, or the law of cosines. So if I try to use the law of sines, the sine of angle A, will that be sine 40 over side A is equal to the sine of angle B, but I don't know what B is, over, that'd be over 12. So to solve a question like this, I'd have two unknowns. I don't know what B is. I don't know what A is. So I'm going to say I can't really use that. So I'm going to cross that out. Looking at the law of cosines, the law of cosines, say I have C squared. So in this case, that would be 18 squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So in that case, it would be 12 squared, so plus 12 squared minus 2AB, so 2A times 12 times the cosine of angle C. But again, I don't, I don't know what angle C is. So it looks like maybe I need to rethink how to solve this question. If you have any, any um, experience with the law of cosines, you know that these letters here are completely interchangeable, whereas for law of sines, they're not. So law of cosines is just a format, meaning that if I'm trying to figure out what side C is, then this is the form that I use. If I want to figure out what side A is, which is what I want to find in this case, so instead of starting with C squared, I start with A squared, then I basically just reshuffle the rest of my letters. So instead of A squared plus B squared, I'd have B squared plus C squared. So I'd have 12 squared here plus 18 squared, and then minus 2 times 12 times 18, again, because that's what B and C are, and then the cosine of angle A, which I do know, is 40. So since I want to figure out what A is, I'm just going to square root both sides. Looking at my answer choices, I see that what I have here looks exactly like answer choice E, which means that answer choice E must be the correct answer. Um, D and C were no good really from the start because they don't contain sine or cosine. And again, whenever we have a note, we're going to definitely use it. Um, a and B contain sine, but when we try to use a law of sines, um, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter how. There's really no way to rearrange things with the law of sines. So A and B don't work. So really, C, really E was the only good answer from the start, even if we just used some process of elimination. But you know, we can see here by using the actual math that E checks out.